now you know only the installation software has been oracle software has been installed but database has not been installed yet to do that you know we have to uh, create data and uh, file, uh, first security area uh, asm this groups first and we'll have to do this with grid users okay let's log in to node 1 as grid okay in the terminal <coughs> now run asmca automatic storage management configuration assistant now you see only vote disk is created now we will have to create more uh, disk groups we will create two disk groups called uh, fra and first we will create fra frf it, it will be external and uh, we will select all the fra disks for this now okay okay this group fra has been created now we will create you see vote and fra is here now we will again create another disk group called data data need this one will also be external uh, we will uh, we'll select all the asm disk for this group okay So this group data has been created success successfully. Now we can move to uh, Oracle database again. Now here we we have uh, installed Oracle software. Now we will create Oracle database. To do that we will use DBCA. And remember we will have to a login as oracle user and we will run from that shell uh, from uh, the terminal and we will run dbca database configuration assistant okay database configuration assistant has started now it is selected the database to create It will be in if we do it in a default mode there there will be no problem here so we are going to create our cl database and you see this is the data group asm group and this is the asm disk group uh, vote but now we will change this one to fra because uh, voting this is not for first recovery area. We'll select FRA and then OK. Now here FRA is selected and we will also change uh, character universal character set. Yes, yeah, this will be Unicode character set, and we are not going to use any container database and password must be we are doing the same also the password doesn't confirm but we will accept it yes We can ignore this. Next. Finish.
okay the database creation has been complete okay the database creation has been complete now we will check if the database creation is ready now let's uh, log into sql class as is tba yes you are logged into the database select star from cat okay this is the file very very a lot of things here let's see select name from v dollar data file data file okay see this yeah these are the data files created these are the sm group disk and these are the location so our database creation is complete you see these are these are the data files we have, which we have create uh, which is the database uh, created now exit the database so this is the end of the installation process of oracle real application cluster so hope uh, this series of uh videos helps you understand how to uh, install oracle real application cluster 12c thank you for watching thank you everybody